Hello guys, welcome to Intrakli. Intrakli is the cloud-based WhatsApp API solution which can help you to you know, send messages via API. You can also use this tool to send messages in bulk. You can create templates, you can create dynamic templates, you can do anything. You can create chatbot, you can create autoresponders, you can do everything with this tool. And this tool is very affordable, so please check this demo. And if it is really helpful, then you can also use for your business. So how to use it? First of all, you need to click on get started. So the moment you will click on get started, this complete system will take you on the page where you need to create your account. So simply you need to fill your information like your na full name, email ID, then the password and the, current, uh, the location like uh, we uh, I'm in India. So I'm choosing this. Then you can select the terms and uh, condition and then click on sign up. The moment you will sign up, you will be landed uh, on the page wherein you need to log in. Okay. So initially you will get 100 WhatsApp free. Okay. And the validity would be one, two, three dates. So it is only for the demo purpose. If you want to, uh, you know, use it uh, for further, then you can go for the upgrade plan or you can, you know, upgrade the plan or you can uh, go for the, you know, monthly, yearly subscription or you can choose different, different plan. So quickly, uh, you know, we can, uh, we can check how we can, you know, use this complete tool. So let's quickly log in uh, and let, let's see how we can, you know, use for our business. So I'm going back uh, on the Intrakli website. If you scroll down, you will see all the fe available features. You will see the contact number as well. So let's click on login. So the moment you will click on login, it will be, uh, you know, uh, ask you to put user ID and password. So you can simply put it. If you haven't have a user ID password, then you can create this. Uh, you can create using this sign up button. So let me, let me click on login. So here you can see the sign uh, success is there. Success message you can see when you click on the login. So here you can see like I sent few messages, zero message failed, 645 message sent, total sending 645. On the right hand side top here you can see if you click here you can see your account, change password, package and log out. Here you can upgrade your plan, here you can see the expiry. On the left hand side, you will see dashboard, WhatsApp, account manager, file manager, caption and language. If you scroll down, you would be able to see the uh, autoresponder count, how many autoresponders you have sent, how many chatbot you have created or how many uh, you know message you sent using chatbot. So these two things you can see. Here you can see the total count, whatever WhatsApp you have sent. Here you can see, here you can see like, uh, I sent, uh, I'm using this number to send WhatsApp. Okay. So this is the dashboard. Now let's click here. Uh, I'm going to click once again on the dashboard. So I'm going to refresh this account and here you can see the count is changing, right? So first of all, we have to connect our system uh, with your WhatsApp number. Okay. So click on WhatsApp. You can add multiple phone numbers you can add multiple whatsapp account to send the messages now if you click on this whatsapp button here you can see scan your scan qr code and get started how do you use it select an account on left menu so here you can see this is the account which is already connected if you wanted to add more you just click here click on this plus button and you simply need to scan okay so you just need to scan this i already logged in using this number Okay, and the moment you will, you know, scan, there will be a stance will be created. So you can simply scan this. Okay, you can refer the all the you know information which is given below to use this. Okay, you can refer this. So again, I am going to click here. Okay, so this is basically to scan your WhatsApp profile. Okay, so I've already uh, uh, scanned. I just need to click on this icon. This is my phone icon. On the left hand side here you can see some, some menu. So here you can see this uh, uh, icon, uh, the main icon, the user icon. If you click on this, here you would be able to see what number is connected, what is the access token, what is the stance and how you can log out from this entire system. If you click this, this icon, this is called autoresponder. So here you would be able to create 
auto responder. So here you can see uh, like it is enable uh, then text uh, or here you can see the button icon here you can see the list. So right now there is no list message there resubmit message only after 1 minute, 2 minute, 3 minute you can that you can uh, totally up to you how you wanted to choose then uh, here you can you know accept contact. So validate example like these two numbers are there and then click on submit. So this is how you can create a responses when somebody you know text you okay automatic response will trigger here if you if you come here then this is the bulk message click on it here you can create contact group here you can create a campaign here you can create schedule message and here you can see the campaign report whatever campaign you have triggered if you go down here you can create some chatbots so right now there's no chatbot it's very easy so now let's talk about the chatbot just click here the moment you will click here you will be on the page where you can create your chatbots so right now there's no chatbot you just need to click on this uh, add new button okay so let's understand what is this so this is basically uh, basically the uh, there are some option which help you to create your chatbot so first of all make sure this system is enabled send to to whom you want to send all individual or group it's totally up to you it's totally up to you okay then below this you can see the type so there are two type of keyword you can add basically a message contains the keyword or message contains whole keyword so basically if any contain which is in any particular uh, message body or a single keyword is there then you can choose accordingly so let's type say suppose here you can see the message contains the keyword so let's type yes so suppose if in the message body yes is there then what you wanted to trigger so this is the name of this uh, auto uh, this chatbot and then i am going to give the keyword called yes so if somebody type yes then what you want to trigger so you can trigger many things here you can trigger text and media if you want to add media you can just click here and you can upload okay below this you can type the text whatever content you wanted to send under this you can choose the button templates so whatever button templates you have created would be you know select you can select from this place and then there's option of list message so if you created any list template then you can choose here right now there's no list template in the next option i will show you how you can create a, a button template and a list template so this is how you can create your entire chatbot system so right now i created on this uh, basically i created on this keyword called yes so if somebody type yes uh, or, or or somebody replying back with with yes then what content i should trigger so that i can create here same with so say suppose i yes okay i will call you back so you can understand like i sent a message where i asking somebody can i call you back somebody said yes so i will say okay i'll call you back or i will call you at call you at 5 30 anything whatever content you want to trigger so i am going to retype i will call you back okay and then hit save button so what did happen right now we created a chatbot on the keyword called yes okay now let's click on once again and make a keyword which contains no if somebody type no then what content you wanted to trigger okay so uh, let's give the name no and then the keyword is no okay now it is up to you what content you want to trigger do you want to trigger anything which is in this button list okay or in the list message so there's a button uh, message list there are three messages so let's choose this and save so what would happen if somebody type yes they will get different message if somebody type no okay so this is how you can create this chat and you can create you know long chat system wherein people are interacting different different uh, you know they are sending some different different content then you can create accordingly okay so it's very easy the moment 
you will take the services you will get a dedicated people or account manager they will guide you okay now let's talk about how we can create a template so it's a very simple right now there are two type of templates you can create one is a list template list template wherein you can list your product and services and second one is the button template wherein people would be able to click on some buttons and they will be retargeted on some different pages so it's a very simple so if i click on list let just let, let me just click on add new and then first of all we need to give the template name so template name list message okay then the title of this uh, you know uh, template so let's give the title choose from the list okay now give the description uh, from this list you can choose multiple things something like that okay if you think you wanted to use some dynamic parameter or the name or any other parameter which is in your list then you can choose this variable okay so i will tell you like how you can you know the moment we will create any group uh, or the list that time only you would be able to see how you can upload the content that i will show you okay here you can give some description okay then you can give some name so it's a button okay so right now we are creating a list okay list what we are creating list template so button text is thanks okay now let add some uh, list so section name i am going to give marketing then click on add new option so option name is marketing automation then we can give small description automate your marketing stuffs okay and then submit so what i did right now i created one list message okay so what would happen if when we when we trigger something then this content will go and then the user would be able to or the recipient will be able to see these uh, list items okay you can add multiple lists item it's up to you so add another section give any you know name of the section so says about lead automation then some other stuff this is how you can create the list template okay for more uh, like training and they can speak to our you know team then click on this this is very important button message so let's click on add a new so give the name so let me give the name demo button button message here you can type the content here you can choose the file give the footer name so let's thank hi uh, whatsapp business api is available let's see let, let, let's give this text only then here i can choose the image so right now i have few images so this is the image i can choose then i can create a list so add new option uh, so list uh, so list button we are creating here so first button would be say suppose the widget now okay now here we can give the url so this is the url and then uh, uh, add a new option like this is the link button now we want to create a call to action so we can simply get call now okay and here you can give the number so this is our number okay and then hit submit so what we create what we created if i click on the span button so when when we shoot this message when we trigger this message people will see this image along with this text and below this text they will get these two button one is widget now and second one is call now okay accordingly your client can choose the template okay or choose the option so this is how you can create your uh, you know list message template and button message template okay for more information you can also speak to your team now if i click on this arrow so this will you know minimize the option if i click again 
then it will display all the options. Now the very important part the API just click on this plugin button here you can see all the API instance API you can create instance you can get the QR code you can receive by book you can reboot instance you can reset instance you can reconnect uh, then send direct message API all the APIs are there okay so if you want to use this entire system it is very affordable just speak to our sales team they will create the setup for you or you can sign up for free demonstration I hope this video is useful for you if you like this video then please please subscribe our channel and use the services definitely you will enjoy thank you